day with a little sort of catch-up haul type thing. Um, okay. Basically, you guys know, been away for a while. Um, in that time, in that like month and a half or so, um, did get a lot of new products. So, um, this is certainly not a comprehensive um, haul of everything I got during that time. Um, and I'm not including any skincare because I'm thinking that I probably should do a new updated skincare routine video, so that'll be coming. And, um, yeah, so, I just want you to take a minute to actually talk to you guys about kind of basically some of my favorites or some of the most notable uh, new products I've picked up in my time away. So, um, I guess we'll start with sort of pre makeup stuff. Um, that, by that I mean primer. Alright, so I got the um, Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the smoothing version, uh, which I really, really like. It reminds me of uh, the professional, but less slippery. Kind of feels a little more solid on your skin. Um, I, I like it. I like it. I don't know that I feel like I notice it noticeably smoothing out the skin or anything, but it's cool. <laughs> it, it works. Um, another primer that I got that I have very mixed feelings about is the Becca um, Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. I just got the mini version. And, uh, this stuff works amazingly well as far as keeping the skin mattified. Um, it really, like, I, I've been shocked at how well I will kind of look at myself and be like, where's the oil? It should be here by now, and it's not. <laughs> um, but it tells up on you. It's really weird. Like, I've never had a primer do that before. Like, suddenly we'll just, you'll have all this little pills, these little residue um, that you have to wipe away. But if you have the extra time to go through that, um, stop those. Now let's talk about some foundation type products. I've got the Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation, which is pretty amazing. It's a filthy brush on top, which is or sponge. I don't use the sponge that came with it, I use the blender. This is the refill version, so we don't have the big fancy on the back. Um, but, basically, it's a cushion. You push on it, product comes off. I really, really love this stuff. Um, coverage isn't heavy, it's, it's very lightweight. Um, it feels really nice, really cool on the skin. Um, yeah, pretty big fan. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that, you run, that it runs out really quickly. I don't know. Haven't had a problem yet. Um, also, concealer that I'm loving, um, the Hourglass Hidden Corrective Concealer. It is a concealer, but um, it's, it's very, very soft, very, very creamy. It works really well under eyes and on any blemishes or spots around the face. I really, really like it. Um, and then powder, actually powder foundation. Uh, I picked up the Makeup Forever Pro Finish powder foundation. Love, love this stuff. Um, it's perfect. It's I have worn it plenty. Uh, you guys know I'm not. I'm a liquid foundation kind of person, but um, I have worn this alone many times, or with concealer, um, but like worn this as my foundation. Um, it's called Pro Finish because you can essentially, like, you can apply it with when I'm applying it dry, um, or whatever. Um, I use my Sephora Kabuki brush, and um, it gives you kind of a fuller coverage, more of a matte, more matte, uh, more powdery. Um, but I also am a big, big fan of using a beauty blender, um, and it's designed to work that way as well. You get a beauty blender, just kind of get it all over, and stamp it on. It goes on, kind of more like a liquid foundation, and it's a little sheer, which I'm okay with. But um, yeah, really good at this stuff. Then, um, a couple of cheap products, um, haven't really gotten any cheap products any time recently, um, but a couple things I did get, 
I need to talk about this before. Um, this was part of the Sephora bronze, bronze bears all set. Um, a mini of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Which is amazing. I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of become my go-to highlight. It's, it's really strong. I mean, like, it, it definitely gives you shine. Um, but I love it for that. It's really nice. Um, I really want to get the Jacqueline Hill one, even though I'm not a Jacqueline Hill person by any means. Um, I kind of really want that just because of how good this is. Um, I also got... <laughs> playing around with cream contouring a bit. Um, I got the um, Sephora Highlight Low Light Face Contour Duo in medium. Um, this is a stick contouring and highlighting product. Um, yeah. So it's double-ended, one end's the highlight, one end's the contour. I feel like the shades are kind of perfect. Um, they, it just works. It works really well. Um, I like it. I'm kind of exploring the world of cream contouring and highlighting and kind of really enjoy it. Um, so, kind of a big category here then is eyes. Eye products. Um, I don't believe I've talked about this before, but um, the product I'm a really big fan of, um, kind of as a primer when I'm just wanting a naked eye type look. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color in shade Honey, which basically is a really good match for my skin tone. Um, cream Shadow. Um, I found that it works better than most cream shadows I've ever tried. Um, I still need to set up some type of powder or something in order to kind of avoid creasing, and it still does kind of crease. Like, if I use it as a base for eyeshadows, um, they crease sooner than they do with, like, primer, or with a primer potion or something, but, um, it's workable. Not bad. Um, I've been really enjoying it, and I've been using it a lot. Um, I use it as a base for this lip of mine right now, um, which was a tutorial I posted earlier this week or last week. I don't know when I posted things, so... It was a tutorial posted at some point for this look. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, eyeshadow. Kind of a big thing. Um, as I mentioned, the tutorial I posted, tutorial review thing, um, the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. Love, love, love this. Um, I also got, though, the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette, which I... Door, kind of. Um, I had kind of have a back and forth with this, but um, overall, it's really good. I love the the range of shades in it. The all matte um, works really well. The transforming pearl gimmicky thing is just a okay, whatever. But <laughs> it is a really good palette. Um, like I said, the shades. I was really impressed with the formula. They just blend really easily. Um, they go on really well. They're super pretty. Um, yeah. Um, another product to mention, big, 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 huge fan of these. Um, if you guys have followed my channel a while, you've probably heard me mention that probably my favorite eyeshadow formula that I've ever, ever tried uh, has been the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. So when Makeup Forever released two palettes of Artist Shadows, I was like, on it. So there's palette number one, which is the nudes you need. Just a gorgeous collection of neutral artist shadows. Um, the formula on the Makeup Forever artist shadows, regardless of which formula or which um, finish they are, is absolutely amazing. Um, cannot say enough great things about the artist shadows. They are incredible. Um, like I said, probably my favorite shadow formula I've ever used. Um, I wish they did more palettes because palettes are just so much easier and more cost effective. Um, but yeah, they're just incredible. I have, aside from these two palettes, I have the um, studio case that came out over the holidays, and then I have um, a handful of other artist shadows that I've gotten from different things, um, like the Shades of Grey and stuff like that. But, okay, the neutral ones, neutrals, cool. Um, I find that I use that one a lot less than I use this one, which is the colors you crave. Bam. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous array of sort of bright, older bright purples. This is like a it's really gorgeous deep green. Um, then you've got some like more 
lighter shades that you can work into to kind of make it workable. Um, the only thing with this color is that it does not have a single matte shade um, and can be used as like a transition shade or anything like that. This is all shimmery. Like there are iridescent diamonds in this color. And that's it. Um, but absolutely gorgeous shades. I love this palette so much. And uh, last but not least, I think I got one of the Hourglass Modernist palettes. Um, this is the shade Infinity, which is gorgeous. Um, this palette, I was really, really back and forth on buying one of the Hourglass palettes because, um, well, to be frank, um, five shades for like $58 um, seemed excessive to me. <laughs> While I don't, okay, I don't recommend this for people who are kind of really wanting to have fun with their makeup and do something different every day. But where what these are really really great for um, are, and I've dealt with a lot of clients at my job in the beauty industry. That I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> I've dealt with a lot of clients who um, just want something that they can kind of develop one look to do well and do well. These uh, modern talents are perfect for those people. Because, um, and, and you can switch it up a little bit. Um, but I went like a whole week just wearing this every day. And um, yeah, I can totally see how, how that would be ideal for that type of person. Um, if you just want to have like your kind of signature like one look that you just do really well and that's just your everyday look. Modernist palettes are, palettes are amazing, um, and it's, it's well worth the investment in those cases because they'll last you forever. And, uh, yeah, if, you, if that's the only eyeshadows you're going to need, then boom. And they do, they, they're all designed, including this one, to have all the shades you need to get your one perfect look. So, yeah. Alright, so there's that. Last but not least, actually second to last but not least, let's talk about some lip products. Um, only a few here that I really am going to mention. Um, I got the Sephora birthday gift. Um, this year's pair of NARS velvet lip pencils, as well as for BAB Rouge, which I am, <laughs> as well as a uh, eyeliner that I think I've lost. <laughs> But, velvet lip pencils, um, one of them is Cruella, which I already had actually, um, but the other one is a velvet satin lip pencil in the shade of Earth Um, which I have been loving. It's a really sort of neutral pink. Um, I never tried the, I've used the velvet matte lip pencils and the velvet gloss lip pencils, but I never tried the satin ones. And, um, they really kind of are the best of both worlds. They're primarily matte, but they have some sheen to them. They're a little slip, more slippery, a little more comfortable. Um, really, really love this shit. It's, it's kind of a perfect sort of neutral everyday look um, for lip look. Um, it actually pair really well. Like, I figured out the niche for people who just want to have one everyday look. Hourglass Modernist palette. Velvet with pencil and recouping. Velvet satin with pencil. Um, those two pair together really well. Um, also, pick up um, from that same Sephora bronze set that I mentioned uh, with the Becca highlighter, uh, wearing right now, the NARS lip gloss in Super Mixing. I love, love, love this shade. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now paired with um, Too Faced Melted Sugar. But, this is just perfect for you love doing a bronze look, which you guys know, I love doing a bronze look. This is the perfect lip color for that. Um, like I said, it's bronzy, but it's got like a sort of a rosy undertone to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, last but not least, um, a little scent that um, is sold at Sephora and Beauty on the Fly section. Um, you know, the little section by the registers. Um, it has a pair of Two face melted lipsticks. 
um, Melted Peony, which is my new favorite of the Melted Lipsticks. I know I wear sugar all the time, but uh, if you follow my Instagram and stuff, but I'm um, kind of obsessed with it. It's absolutely stunning. This is really gorgeous, um, but they came with the full size Melted Peony and then a mini of the uh, Melted Metal in the shade Melted Dreamhouse. Melted Metal Dreamhouse, sorry. So the Melted Metals, for those who have not tried them, they're a very different experience from the Melted Lipsticks. The formula's really different. Um, they're, they, I kind of feel like they're more comfortable to wear, but the, they're not really metallic right there. I mean, it's, it's, but it's got major sheen, it's, it's full glitter. <laughs> the glitter is not a bad thing, but um, when they wear off, and they wear off quicker than the uh, regular melted, um, but when they wear off, you just have with lips, like in your natural color. Um, it, it, yeah, it's kind of weird, but whatever. They're nice. Um, that scent I was like, even if I hate the metallic one, it was worth it just to get the melted peony and I'm obsessed with that. That is all of my sort of, not, it's nowhere near all of the new stuff that I've gotten over that time. They did get kind of a lot of stuff. But, um, it's kind of, these are kind of the most notable new things that I've gotten. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, hope this was interesting for you, and thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great day.